Hello! Today's stories come from r slash am I the butthole. We have two stories today of people dodging the marriage bullet. Our first is a biggie with two updates, so let's get straight to it. Am I the butthole flipping out on my fiancé for cancelling all the vegan food options from our wedding food menu behind my back? My fiancé is a 31-year-old male, and I'm a 25-year-old female. We're getting married soon. There wasn't much that we disagreed on during the wedding planning, except for food. Me and my family are vegans, and there are so many reasons why we chose this lifestyle, one of them being that we have a history of health issues. My fiancé and his family are the complete opposite. They're hardcore meat eaters, which is fine by me, obviously. However, when deciding on the wedding food menu, I wanted to add four to five vegan options. My fiancé and his mom objected, saying it was a waste of money over food that isn't real food. They also argued that this would be offensive for their guests and suggested my vegan options just be the good old salads and appetizers. His mom wanted cupcakes. I said no, because for one, it's me and my family who's paying, and two, I want to make my guests feel welcome and not be treated as second-class citizens by being served salad. My fiancé made a face and said, isn't that what vegans eat? I refused to argue about it and said it was final. The other day, I found out that he had cancelled all the vegan options and took them off the menu completely and behind my back. I was seething. I called him at work, but he kept hanging up on me. I went straight to his workplace and confronted him there and just flipped out on him. He was stunned to see me. He at first said it was his mom's idea, then told me to go home because I was making a scene at the office. The fight continued at home and he defended himself by saying that I sort of made him resort to doing this after I kept brushing off his thoughts and input and refusing to accommodate his family. But there were plenty of meat options. Why can't I get four to five vegan options when I'm paying for it? He yelled that it was his wedding too, not my family's. My family said it was fine, and they'll figure it out and told me to let it go. But I refused. Update. So his mom messaged me earlier to try get me to listen to what she had to say after I kept ignoring her phone calls. She spent long walls of text just to address what I did at her son's workplace calling it all kinds of stuff from immature to unhinged. She then went to explain how she's noticed that me and my family kept acting dismissive of her son's input and contributions to the wedding. She said that she noticed my behavior towards him and her entire family and wanted to speak up earlier but didn't and tried to keep the peace. She then went on to address the food menu issue and denied her involvement in the cancellation of the vegan option. But that didn't mean she doesn't support her son's decision. Moreover, She thought it was so responsible of him to make that move because of my continual refusal to see how this stuff is a waste of money. She also pointed out how I kept saying, I paid for it, and said that technically this isn't just my money. It's mine and his because we're getting married. She suggested I wise up and get rid of my money I paid for it mentality. She finally mentioned how bad this whole situation is making me look and said that she and her son had already offered a number of compromises that I chose to brush off and decided to make it my weird hill to die on. She said that not only her son is upset, but she and the family are as well after hearing about it, and suggested I just agree on their compromise and be done with it. This really upset me beyond belief, and I responded by letting her know that I'm still standing my ground on this, even if I'll have to call the whole wedding off because of it. Because honestly, this is just ridiculous. It is. My mom and dad, they don't even know what to say anymore. Apparently, my fiancé saw my response to her, he's with her, and is now trying to call me. But right now, I'm waiting on him to get home and see if he's still insisting on the stance he took. I'll update if there's anything worth adding after we talk. Oh goodness, can't wait to see how this ends up. Let's check out some comments before we move on to the update. Shed It Together said, Info, how many options are there in total? So like four to five non-vegan and four to five vegan, meaning eight to 10 options for meals? Is this a buffet or restaurant reception? Or is this a multi-course menu? And so there is essentially one vegan meal with four to five courses. Not the butthole, because he did this behind your back without talking to you. But I'm wondering why he cares what other people eat. Also, he's the butthole for claiming he doesn't know what vegans eat. You're vegan. He knows you eat more than salad. OP replied, aside from the vegan, we have six options with meat. His mom picked one. I'm paying for the whole thing. Your little birdie said, not the butthole and for the love of God, don't marry this man. Grizzly Wolf added, I'm on my knees begging for her to see the giant red flags. Someone else replied, 
Yes, marinara flags all over. Good thing they are vegan. Lawbird said, I mean, it's like they're militantly meat focused. My family and I all love meat. We come from a large Texan family after all, but we've never refused to accommodate a guest and plenty of the stuff we make for ourselves are already vegan before we ever even worried about it. Mahomie said, it's not really about the meat. It is about control. Someone else replied, bingo, if this marriage happens, OP will be back here in less than a year complaining about how dear husband puts his mom ahead of her. I hope you're okay with mother-in-law in the delivery room when you have children. Not the butthole, but this is about more than a menu. And now for the update. Am I the butthole for flipping out on my fiancé for canceling all the vegan food options from our wedding food menu behind my back? So, the talk didn't go well. I waited for him to come home so we could have a final conversation about it, but he still insisted on his stance. For more details, his family are a bit on the heavy side. Most of them are obese. Nothing wrong with that. They're perfectly within their right to decide how to live, but they get easily offended at the mention of the words weight and food. I tried so hard to focus on the issue at hand, but I noticed there was a pattern of this behavior. He said it wasn't true and that this was just an attempt for me to throw past conflicts at him in order to win the current one. He claimed he tried to reason with me about why and how his guests might see those vegan options as offensive. Also said that his family loved food and considered it a big deal, and how he didn't want his family to feel like there's certain options they couldn't touch, and feel that there's a difference in how I treat them versus how I treat my family. He then went on to explain how it's just an event and how my family should just accept what's on the menu and if they felt inconvenience, so what? It's just a one-time thing. They're not going to die if they have salad and appetizers. What he said wasn't good enough reason for me because his folks are going to think and say what they want. But at the end of the day, it's my wedding. And to be honest, realizing that my partner himself thinks it's okay to steamroll my opinions and decisions simply because he's prioritizing others and their opinions over me was really upsetting and not something that could be looked past. Normally, I'm a person of rational discussions and compromises. I'm all about compromises. I'd compromised on much bigger matters than just food, but like people said, it's not about the food anymore. If it ever was, like, he'd literally lose nothing if he let me have what I wanted, but apparently, he was willing to lose it all over this, which is fine by me. I gave him back the ring and called everything off. I just couldn't envision myself living like this any longer having to walk on eggshells for his family and letting him basically override my opinions and have the final say no matter what? Marriage is about compromise, and here, he has nothing to lose, yet chose to do this to me and my family. Mind you, this is my first serious relationship, and I didn't know what to expect. But it's safe to say that he and his mom and family did make it feel like I was taking crazy pills on many, many occasions. So that's that. Last thing he said was that I chose my family over him and ended everything because for the sake of keeping him happy. Decision's been made and it's done. Just wanted to give an update to those who wanted it. Thank you so much for your endless stream of advice and support. Oh, wow. Definitely not the butthole, am I right? This is super cut and dry. And like I said, OP obviously dodged a bullet here. I can't even imagine how someone could be so inconsiderate of guests. Never mind dismissing your partner's family's dietary restrictions. And at your wedding, no less. Just wow. Let's check out some more comments and some additional context from OP. In response to, last thing he said was that I chose my family over him and ended everything between for the sake of keeping him happy. Step up your life said, does he work at a movie theater? Because that's some quality projection. Someone else said, I rolled my eyes so hard at the fiance's comment. OP, you dodged a missile coming at you. Our crossbow said, Good for you. Marriage is about compromise, and it doesn't sound like your ex is interested in compromising or even letting you have a say in things. This isn't a partnership. OP replied, thank you. And you're right. Honestly, I felt kind of hesitant about posting an update. In fact, I was hesitant about posting my situation as a whole. Normally, I'm not the time to share my private business online, but I was desperate. Like I said, there were times where his family made me feel like I was taking crazy pills. Honestly, and I'm going to say this anyway, I hate them. They always made me feel like an outsider and a stranger, never really warmed up to me and instead pretended to like me, but it was obvious they resented me. They claim that I'm a covert, fat phobic, but in reality, I got mocked along with my family for being underweight due to health issues I'd mentioned before. Don't even get me started on ex-future mother-in-law, though I feel as though I gotta let it all out and vent. Our last story, 
I don't know why I found it so funny. Maybe just because it was so ridiculous. But I'll let you be the judge. Am I the butthole for keeping the engagement ring and giving up asking to propose after proposing in front of my parents and in-laws? I'm a 25-year-old female. My girlfriend, Molly, is 26. For the past six months, she's kept on with a joke that I've already made clear that I don't like. It consists of her saying no quickly to anything I ask. I know it sounds silly, but I ask her to get a glass of water for me. She says no, and after one minute, I'm almost getting up, she says she's joking and get some water. I ask her to wash the dishes. She says no. I say, I love you. She says no. I ask her to take her clothes. She says no. Everything is joking, and after 30 seconds or a minute, she does it, but she is addicted to doing it. I've already made it clear several times that I don't like it, even more so in I love you. She's the only person I can say that to, so it's special to me. And there are things that are serious, and I need her to answer seriously. And if she says no to everything jokingly, I can't tell when she's saying a real no. It's already happened. I kept saying this is boring and I don't like it. She stops doing it and goes back to doing it after a week. After a brief discussion, because she played this prank in front of our friends, me asking, love, can you get me some medicine? And she with no kidding, she stopped doing it for one month. Yesterday, we welcomed my parents, in-laws, and our two best friends to our house. Everyone knew that I was going to propose to her, and I called them, because we always plan this proposal with our loved ones attending, participating in this special day. I asked her to marry me, and she said a quick no, and I was so grumpy, panicked, upset, everyone looking in shock for 30 seconds for her to laugh and say she was joking, finally saying yes. I was so embarrassed and disappointed. I put the ring box back in and said I'd take it out to cool off. I didn't even let her say anything. She kept texting me, no answering calls, saying it was just a joke and that I knew she always did that. She said that I left in a difficult situation in the house because it was very clear that I had given up on proposing and did it in front of my parents and in-laws. She stressed that I was making the situation uncomfortable because of a silly joke. Well, I slept in a hotel and I'm still in it. My parents supported me, but my in-laws are calling me a butthole for giving up on proposing, disproportionately humiliating their daughter. I just really think there's time for jokes, and that moment wasn't. Clearly, she knew I didn't like it and decided to do it anyway. Am I the butthole? Definitely not the butthole. This would irritate me beyond belief. It's super disrespectful to keep something like this going for so long, especially after OP has made it clear they don't like it. And regardless of whether the proposal was planned or anticipated, carrying on with this so-called joke during the proposal and in front of others is just plain mean. Let's check out the comments before we wrap up. Mobius Mom said, Not the butthole. Why would you sign up for this permanently? Maroon Fahrenheit said, Not the butthole. Your girlfriend just learned a much-needed lesson on why you don't joke and say no when you mean yes. And you are not making the situation uncomfortable because of a silly joke. She is. She knew you don't like it, and honestly, who would? That would annoy the frack out of most people. But she did it anyway. What next? Is she going to jokingly say no during your ceremony? Conrad Wayne replied, This is 100% what will happen if OP goes through with the wedding. (laughs) A constant issue shared, Not the butthole. And this is coming from a family who does it a lot. Me and my siblings love to be like, Can you grab me a drink when you go past with a quick, Nope only to do it anyway with all the variations. The sibling, or our mom, who loves to do this with us as well, usually just say, oh, okay, because we know the joke. Here's the thing. We don't do the joke with our dad. While the rest of us find it funny, he is quick to feel upset and not understand when our no is joking like you do. So we don't do it. We don't do it because we love and respect him and know it can be quickly upsetting to him. And he loves other pranks and jokes with us. So we just find other things to share the fun in with him. I would also like to add we never do it in serious situations or things that need an actual answer or conversation. There are times and places for these things, which she is not understanding. If you've enjoyed the story and would like to hear more, consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Thanks, and bye for now.